Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken, it's the legendary Iron Man run and we're playing this beautiful campaign. Uh, we're starting today right in a mission. Uh, that is the second part of the supply raid. Let's just shortly recap what happened the last time Saiken decided to do an almost non-infiltrated supply raid and as so often you run into problems this time we have pulled 24 enemies at the same time plus the warlock who was summoning um, zombies on top of it due to clever usage of strategy and really consequent consequent um, uh, fights we essentially ended up with uh, killing all of uh, the uh, enemies on the bottom uh, side here and we're now slowly but surely pushing in. Essentially two of the enemies are currently burning, the Grenadier here and the Rocketeer here, so they are out of the fight. We got another um, rocket Grenadier over here and we got four more enemies here. Um, so let's jump into it. I think we're going to start with uh, Divat here and we're not going to go for the zombies. What else can we do? 100% trooper. If possible, I like to get a high hit point target. Yeah. Let's try to go for this. Um, uh, for this. Um, captain. That's good. That's one down. Now, similar problem over here. Still having a few <coughs> medium hit point targets. He is automatically going to die, but I get a bonus shot by attacking him. There's a chance that he would have um, stopped burning. So it's never wrong to, uh, to kill him when you have the chance. Let's try to get the engineer here. Uh, didn't work out. Let's continue. Try to continue getting the engineer. Okay, that worked. Perfect. Nice. Good shit. Alright, we still got an overwatch shot over there, which I would like to trigger. However, the way we're going to do that is by a run and gun. Alright, lightning reflexes worked like a charm. Now we gotta move over. Question is really where do we want to go? This here is an option. I think half cover could work. What's over there? Yeah, let's try to go and get Advent down. See, I can reloads. Let's get the zombie. Before we continue moving in, let us try to get the other zombie. Good, so Zirkim could move up to here, thanks to his run and gun. Now we're down to two enemies, which... Oh shit, I almost forgot about him. We're not down to two enemies. Second, what are you even talking about? Let's 
60% chance to, hit, uh, to kill this guy. Alright, this here should be a kill. Just out of curiosity, could we reach the others via melee attacks? No, we can't. So just charging in is not an option here. But we can move up, take a shot, and next turn we can charge in. Could reach one of them with an uh, with a flashbang. How about some area suppression? How does that sound? I think that doesn't sound too bad. And a 50-50 against the trooper. Might as well be able to kill him. Okay, it was worth a shot instead of using the flashbang. Okay, if the trooper moves, we're going to have an overwatch shot and the ever, uh, area suppression will further make sure that the uh, that the sentry, so the advent sentry, will not be able to get a good line of sight on it uh, on us. Enemy is down to two soldiers, and we should be able to overpower them. Yeah, he had the suppression uh, negative. That should have been an overwatch shot. Not sure why it didn't. Yeah, but overall we're okay. We can just reload and I uh, and kill the rest we've taken quite a bit of damage and a few thoughts by going into this mission we definitely we definitely are lacking um, med kits we should have we should have taken more med kits with us that's not even a question Zirkim, I absolutely like the Implaceable. Let's do this. Sixty percent chance to just kill him. Nope. Not yet. Can always charge in. We take enough 50-50s, we're eventually going, yeah, eventually going to kill him. Alright. Wow. Just wow. Like this entirety uh, of the fight, the the whole 24 enemies that we killed. Now it's probably, I mean, we saw 35 enemies, so there's most likely going to be one more giant pack left over. We're just going for Overwatch because zombies will appear very soon. Should be this round or the next one. The biggest issue that I'm seeing is, um, in hindsight, we should have brought 
a couple of smoke grenades with us and definitely more med kits. Shit, our cover just disappeared. Well, that's that's really good. Thank you. Just what we needed. I hope it's worth it. Boy, boy, I, I'm just trying to f uh, assemble the troops for once. I think the full cover here is too good to pass uh, pass it by, so beat, beat. moving up. I just don't want to trigger additional enemies. Zirkim needs a full cover position, as he's stationary and can take two shots. We're definitely going to see zombies spawning this round, so might as well take some overwatch. Bob Ross moves up. I'm currently trying to kind of build a line here so that we can then slowly but surely advance once we are through the zombies. And like I was saying, the biggest the biggest issue is we're definitely going to have another pack. Well, speaking about the devil, right? Oh, that's a mutant centurion. I don't like that at all. And apparently Max. When they get back to base, we'll have to give our soldiers some time to heal. Mentally and physically. Are you shitting me? That was an entire pack of what? Two, three mechs? Hmm. At least our Overwatch seems to work. Sirke moves in. I'm not even sure if we have properly triggered the pack. Apparently yes, because somehow this guy is standing. Let's see. Hmm. Moving into full cover. Okay, well, well. <laughs> what are we fighting against? Three mechs, a viper, a berserk, two mutants. Holy shit, that's a lot. I'm not even sure if we can kill that many hit points. Could flashbang almost everyone? Well, that would rock. We're probably going to do that, to be honest. Alright, let's take a look. Berserk. 
No, we're going for Mac Longbow. Okay, here's the deal, Deep Up. That's the one time where I need you to deal really high amounts of damage. Hit it and kill it. Uh, that's good. You hit it. You didn't kill it, but you were hitting it like a pro. All right, Mikey moves up. No chance for him to hit someone. I'm wondering why they aren't moving at all. Okay, whatever. Let's try to take the mech. Oh, wait, I'm seeing just another... Ooh, there's another Advent Soldier there. Ooh, barely, barely failed to, to take it over. Would have been pretty nice if we would uh, could have taken it over. There is a shield bearer. Ooh, well, that's gonna that's gonna stink shield bearer will give them armor we're not going to charge in although it would be fantastic to blade storm everyone Shredding. And a nice little critical hit. That's good. That's worth a lot. Might be able to kill one of the Centurions. Mech Longbow will be our next target. Shield Bearer is a problem. Centurion is a problem. I think we're going with the Centurion first we could actually kill it and it's exposed very nice got hit and run now it's time for the mech longbow uh, we need to kill that one Can't run and gun yet. Could move all the way up to here, but that's a dangerous game. Moving over to here. Another Overwatch. Our hit point count is too little. We need to make sure that we're definitely not going to be focused. And we are going to use the flashbang right here. Can we hit the viper as well? Good enough. Three, three disorientations are good enough.
positioning ourselves over here means they theoretically cannot see us and let's hunker down Yeah, they are disoriented by taking shots, they decide to not even move, which is okay for me. Overwatch is not a big deal. The mechs are a problem for multiple reasons, mainly for the, uh, because, oh, wow, mainly because of their rockets. I call that cheating. He didn't know that we were hiding behind the car. We took even more damage, which is worrying. We need to deal with the mechs and we need to deal with them like really, really soon. Starting with Deert again. Seventy-five. Make longbow. Yeah, let's use the eighty-six percent here. Try to soften up the mech. Nice little critical hit. Down to two hit points. Okay, cool. Okay, so this here will not trigger overwatch, we're getting into full cover, which is essential, and we can kill the mech, which we failed to do, unfortunately. Alright, reload. Whiplash. <laughs> Can we uh, hit f at least for once, please? Okay, we could damage the Viper, but the Viper is probably one of the least dangerous targets here. Fortifying, reload. Gotta deal with the Berserker, for the love of God. Fortify. Can we stun it, maybe? Mm, not close enough. Okay. Running and gunning. This here is close enough for the Berserk. Yeah, I saw the chance to stun him, which I think would be good enough for now. 
that buys us one round. That sheet bearer doesn't matter for now. Alright, make longbow. Let's get it down. That is not good. Let's kill the make longbow. Thank you. You could theoretically move. Reload. Let's kill this mech here. One, two, three, hmm. All right, reload and let's get rid of the heavy mech. <laughs> it is almost comical at this point how much we're missing uh, the mech. Good, this here is a setup to shred it. Nice little preparation overall. I think we're leaving Zirgim here in full cover. I don't see a disadvantage with that. He has plenty of hit points. The mech is still the most dangerous opponent. Yeah, that was foreseeable. I think we're okay. A few more hit points are fine. Now going to be flanked here. Taking even more damage. Yeah, we're taking some more hits, guys, but I hope that we should, I mean, we should technically be fine. Next round, zombies will appear again. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Could go and kill the Viper. But could also go for the heavy mech, which I think we're doing in so though. Hmm, let's think about it. Let's take the Viper down first. Okay, putting ourselves into cover here. I want to save his chain shot, so we're not going to use that. Not yet. Instead, we're softening up the mech. Shield removed, that's good. And point blank kill the Viper. Kill confirmed. Done deal. Ready to Reloading. Let's shred the mech further. Wow. 
We're missing a lot of 70% shots. Okay, moving into full cover again. Okay, another 60% shot down. Let's give Harbinger here an 8 protocol. I have the feeling that he'll need it. Not sure if we can get the Berserk down in this turn. Another 60% shot miss. Reload. 80% shot. Reloading. Yeah, I don't want to say uh, to change the position. We're taking a free shot. Missed, but get hit and run. Which we're using to kill the mech. Alright, Mike here gets an overwatch. And that's it. We're going to take a big fat hit from the Berserk. Hopefully he's missing. His accuracy isn't so great. And we need to deal with the uh, Centurion now. That's a little retribution. so far so good I mean it can't use cover so its position is not a problem Moving over here. Moving. And let's start to shred and get that Centurion down. Good start there. Ready to rock. Reload, kill the zombie. Well, you know, I take the 50-50 and maybe we can even kill the Centurion. Ooh, 
Oh wow, nice shot. Nice shot, buddy. All right, reload. And that's one more enemy down. Perfect. As long as we stay kind of behind this truck, can't really be spotted out. Not sure, by the way, about Understood. the um, Berserk. Done. I wanted to stun it one more time, but we can't even hit it. So what we're going to do is Overwatch. Sane is the theoretical next target of it. Might as well reload and take a shot. We do have Blade Storm, so if the Bursar comes for Sane, it'll take another shot and Overwatch shots. Go for and honor the elders with your actions. There's heavy fire in this fragile zone. forms. Okay, I took overwatch shots. There is the blade storm. Oh wow, and we're down to one HP. <laughs> That's it. That indeed is ugly. <laughs> wow. Oh boy, Lord. The end of this mission will result in us probably having an entire med bay full of uh, soldiers. Taking 50-50 against the shield bearer. Okay, didn't work out. Dark Tower moves closer. Somehow we can't see the Berserk. Perfect. At least that worked. Yeah, I still can't flank him. Yeah, the chances of Pulling him out are too low for my taste, so what we're going to do is move in and just kill him. There's the hit and run. And instead of reloading, we'll just justice punch him to death. There we go. I know, a bit strange play, but it was effective.
Good. Let's assess and make an inventory of just how damaged everyone is. We did a decent damage control overall. But now we need to really assess how damaged everyone is because many of our soldiers are now really in one shot range. What worries me a little bit is I'm still seeing alien activity. That is usually an indication for more aliens. But we should have killed every single alien. So, assessment. Our Shinobi has one hit point. Definitely a one shot. Dark Town Noxus, six hit points. Which in my book can be a, at least one partial hit. And with his uh, partner in crime, Zirkim, here, who has 12 hit points, we're very much okay. Our sniper, full hit points. Diva does a wonderful job. Yeah, Mike is pretty fucked. Two hit points. Not really good. We're green here, two hit points, so we have three characters that essentially die regardless of what happens. Six hit points on our medic. So that's barely out of kill range and 16 hit points on Harbringer. That's good. I will go. Got an okay front line. But yeah, some of our like really fr original frontline characters, such as the Shinobi and the Assault, are down to one hit point. So that is ridiculous, ridiculously low. We definitely can't use them in frontline fights. Overwatch, or second kind of line of defense. Yep, that makes sense. But we can't have them that close to the front line. So, probably need a different approach there. Moving up to here. And moving up to here. Need to move away from the zombie. Alright, Bob Ross. Moves over here. Got it. Probably should be standing closer together and stick to one uh, side, which I think we're taking the lower uh, the lower lane here. My expectations for them were exceedingly low. Okay. All right, Divot moves up. Running. I would use the high ground here, but I'm not sure whether or not there are still aliens around. It seems as if something is odd. There is an alien turn, although there shouldn't be one. Which, to be honest, worries me. Run 
Roger that. That field is not clickable. I tried it twice. Solid Good copy. Moving on target. Yeah, there is some solid cover down here. I like the full cover. And there's definitely still alien activity. I don't know why, but somehow there is still alien activity. It is nearly time for atonement. Movement zero came over here. Shit, more aliens. Oh. Okay, what we got? Three sector, it's a specter and a viper. Not the most difficult pack overall. But with the mind control, certainly also not easy. Let's just fortify our position here. And first of all, see what we can do with the sniper. I would like to go for the Viper first. We're saving Dead Eye for the Chosen. Nice. There you go. Viper is down. Next up, sector at farming time. Get it together. Not charging in. Oh, area suppression is a beautiful idea. Reload. Let's reload the area suppress. Um, the Spectre will have. Uh, we'll have lightning reflexes, so it won't get tagged, but it will still slow it down. And to my uh, to my understanding, since um, the shadow bound ability is not a psionic ability, he will also um, will, uh, he won't also have that available, which is great. We're gonna go into half cover here because half cover counts as full cover for our skirmisher. We're taking a couple of 50-50 shots. Missing a lot of high level, um, high chance shots, even like 70% of shots. Yeah, we can't go anywhere near the front line with one hit point, so we're staying back and overwatching just in case someone moves in. Two hit points, let's just hunker down. Yeah, Bob Ross here only has six hit points as well. So let's give Mike 
the 8 protocol. That way he's harder to hit. In okay, case someone is breaky, trying to break the area suppression. And we're overwatching. Not the greatest of all turns, but we killed one. We're unlucky with the other hits. And got a few overwatches going. Shadowbound. Yeah. Good old Shadowbound. the perfect timing for a mind control. Not the perfect timing for a mind control. Fifty fifty on oh we're not going to shoot at the Spectre yet. Can't reach this guy with um, with our standard movement revival protocol. Okay, so far so good. guy is back there. So moving right here means we're getting a blade storm when this guy here moves. So that's a secure kill. Well luckily our Shadowbound Target is just as bad in hitting as we are. Forty percent, okay. Whiplash to start. Didn't work out well. One free shot. Got the hit and run. And let's pull him out of full cover. Which will make sure that that we are going to kill him 
Let's see, can we hit the sector? Can't hit the sector. Shite. Okay, that'll kill the shadow found target. Still got a nasty mind control, and mind you, Zirkim is really good when he needs to hit enemy targets. Probably need to flashbang him. Probably need to flashbang him. Fortify. Run and gun. Open up really close and then. I hope we can simply stun Zirkim. Yeah, that's a 90% chance to stun him for one round. Okay, good enough. We're moving up. So Zirkim is being taken care of for now. Fortify. And let's get into a flanking position. So we can abuse the sector here. Unfortunately, not a crit. Well, we could charge in and sl uh, and slash him, but I don't want to do that with one hit point. Any type of mistake is deadly. Mm -mm. We're instead moving over here. No one can see us here. Continue to move over here with the sniper, and we're probably just going to reload, have better shooting uh, angles, and that's pretty much about it. Still, two, three sectors left. One is probably going to die via retaliation. Or retribution, sorry. Okay, panic will only last for one round, thanks to our, uh, thanks to our um, continent bonus.
Okay, so far so good. Almost, we could almost flank him. But we do have a flashbang grenade, and that will do just fine. Perfect, so let's move up. Thank you, mind control just lost. All right, let's continue. Um, so we want to move a bit away. mainly want to make sure that we're not spotting out uh, the Chosen. Let's move over here. I'm pretty careful that we're not standing in the explosion distance. X-ray neutralized. 50-50 on the sector. Yep, we can do that. Unfortunately, a miss. Back in. Of course, grazing shot. So, I'm still concerned about triggering the Chosen. I definitely don't want to do that because that'll in just increase our problem tenfold. What the fuck is wrong with Zirkim? He cannot reload, he cannot shoot. It says unit is stunned. Well, he clearly isn't stunned. That is highly annoying. So my theory is since we stunned him with an XCOM stun, um, the game just doesn't know how to process that because XCOM can normally never stun their own Sir, units so naturally they think that we need to be continue to be stunned
I have the feeling that that is not going to go away. It says still unit is done. Can't reload. It's just getting better and better. So we effectively have lost Zirkim as a damage dealer in this mission. Not only uh, just to speak about the level of uh, bugs that I need to deal with in, in the beta here, not only did the whole mission start off with um, three entire squads uh, sitting at uh, the spawn, essentially directly running into us regardless of what we were doing, not only do we have to deal uh, with the constant, and I mean really ongoing, mispositioning of uh, units. It has just happened multiple times that the units were standing somewhere and I, I just need to make sense out of it. But now on top of that, we also have the problem that the stun um, the stun device which is mind you a long war invention is obviously highly poorly coded so as soon as you stun your own uh, soldier with it you essentially kill him for the mission yeah I can deal with uh, so much uh, mm, opposition and hardship in, in a game. Good. We're just making sure that the fight against the Chosen is not a complete disaster. Regaining our cooldowns at the moment. Yeah, we're still pretty gently stunned. Roger that. I can offer us as bait and maybe the enemy, uh, the enemy will take it. But I would say that's pretty much it. Divad uses half cover as full cover, so might as well stay here. It would be nice if the Warlock would be running into us. It's probably not going to happen, but, well, who knows? Maybe it is. The besting of one of the elder's children will mean little to the two that remain. Remember that, Commander. It's one of the elders chosen. Yeah, I forgot the design decision that he immediately is allowed to act. Four and six rounds of dazing. Nice. I am nearly upon you. Not even sure if we can wake someone up. 
No. Of course not, because this unit here is, you guessed it, stunned. Hmm. All right, reviving. Moving a bit further forward. Continuing to revive. Unfortunately, she's disoriented, which is really bad. We can kill that one. Okay. Well, let's use our revival protocol. It's not that we're going to use it for other options anyways. There's no chance. I mean, if we're moving up, it, it must be clear that we're also the one that is probably taking the mind control. By the way, not 100% sure why this here would be uh, even cover. But whatever. Moving into half cover. Again, half cover for her is full cover um, for him. Whiplash, I don't want to waste it. Instead, let's just get this guy here out of cover. Very nice. We need to kill all of them anyways. The Warlock isn't dealing a lot of damage, but he has definitely a pretty sick mind control. You know what would be really sick? If we actually wouldn't have to... <laughs> yeah, of course. <coughs> that was... That was clear. That that could happen. Good, we're moving up here, moving up here. It's not as bad as it seems we're going to get a red a blade storm attack, so there is a good chance that we're actually going to kill him. 
but I don't like just good chances instead. Let's try to kill him. Nope, didn't work out. We still got an 8 protocol. Solid chance to start softening up the warlock. Didn't work out. I like the 50-50. Fortunately, we're not hitting. Statistically, we should be hitting some. A protocol for Sane. Otto is probably going to stay where he is. There is the blade storm. Otto might mind control. There are no good targets for mind control. Don't get me wrong. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. There are no good targets for mind control, but that certainly was a le less optimal choice. I mean, could go to here, start slaughtering him, but we still have the problem with the mind control. Can't really grapple anywhere. The Warlock has a really pretty solid position there. They are Bond Brothers, but they are not high enough as Bond Brothers yet, so this here is probably not going to remove the mind control. No, it's not. And the only way that we can deal with the mind control without like completely hurting ourselves is probably to stun him. Essentially losing yet another another gun. Out. But he has such a high aim value if he starts hitting targets, we're being fucked. So stun is the only option for us. So we're moving closer to the Warlock. Moving. I don't want to just move, so we need to also take some shots. Let me get this straight. I don't like 30% shots at all, but he will not move unless we force him to. I could 
move all the way up to here and that will make him move so that could be an option Azir Kim here may or may not help him out of his misery Dark Tower that is Moving up. I think we're just going to mark the warlock for now. We do have the ability to shred, which we should do right away. Good. Roger that. So, in case he takes shots, let's make sure that we properly suppress him. We're just overwatching, he's going to move. Alright. Not a really good position to be in. Oh, he has Shadow Step. Well, so much for the idea to uh, to overwatch with him. Okay, so time to become a bit more active. So we're continuing to shred him. That's a critical hit, by the way. And this here is probably the best position. Double shot plus whiplash. Okay, let's do this. Come on, buddy. No crit, unfortunately. Hit. Whiplash. Another hit. Again, no crit. That's a problem. He's down to 18. 50-50. We could kill him with a dead eye. Oh, he's down to 3. Ooh, he's down to 3.
we are pretty pretty close <sighs> you gotta love it if you when you just need like that one more step Okay, it's not a great shot by any stretch of the imagination. Come on, Mike. Very nice. Very nice, Mike. Good fucking job. <laughs> okay. That mission was crazy. Chosen can be hurt. Now we just have to work on putting them down for good. Status confirmed. Yeah. Mission accomplished. 35 enemies, my ass. So we're looking at 50, almost 55 enemies, and the majority was just right from the get go. It definitely felt like that. <laughs> Okay, that mission definitely was close. I knew if someone would be going down, uh, they would be bleeding out because they are of high rank. But yeah, I mean, look at that. Gravely wounded, gravely wounded, gravely wounded. So we're looking at a lot of wounded soldiers here. But we also got a lot of uh, promotions. So, Fires three shots at a target in a single attack, requires both attack actions and all shots have to have aim penalties. But that is exactly what we want. Uh, not sure why they have not implemented this ability here. I like the dead eye idea. Gives him even more kill potential. I like the free flashbang. That's also not too bad. Mike Bravo really has a lot of cool options. And he even gets light him up. Damn. I mean, since they have forgotten to take away the cooldown from rapid fire, I might have... Uh, I might waste the point here on on chain shot and instead should have gotten demolition maybe all right Sirkin. yeah rapid fire not it's not even a question and when I'm seeing hit and run here that gets me going because it means we can even take another shot on top of what we're anyways doing. We just need to give him auto loaders. That was not optimal in the mission. Um, so, I mean, evasive is great. Reaper is probably what we're going to go for, because I like it. I like evasive as well, but Reaper is better. Suppression is good, but yeah, not, not needed. Okay, cool. 
and two more promotions. Yeah, we got a lot of promotions here. See, that's what we would have needed, the field medic. Yeah, we probably would have needed the field medic. And, to be honest, even Savior with four additional hit points would have been good. Okay, so what do we need? We need Shredder. I like Formidable as well. I like Zero In. But I think we're going to go with Shredder first. And probably Lightning Reflexes on top of it. It's just, it was too helpful. And we only had one unit that, uh, so one assault unit that could uh, that could use their lightning reflexes. So an additional unit would have been helpful. And I mean, look at the immense amount of loot that we've gotten. So it was definitely worth it. All of this here is easily four or five hundred um, uh, supply uh, worth four or five hundred supply. And we got a specter on top of it. <laughs> what a wild ride. What a wild ride. Perfect, we got ourselves. Another new regional contact. And of course, a new chosen. If it's a fight you're after, you better bring everything you've got. So let's compare a bit what the regions have to offer. Uh, so Advent strength over here is only four, which means Advent is pulling their forces together in Africa. Not, not surprising, I would say. Um, vigilance here is 16, Vigilance here is 4, so there is not much happening here at the moment. Good. So, if we were to build a radio relay here, oh, that's only 350 supplies. Well, mm, how about no thanks? 200 into, mm, yeah, smells a lot like no thanks. Oh, you can't afford that, guys. We can branch out to Europe. Will not get us a full bonus, but we we'll, we will get more. We will get more exposure. Hmm. Now, nah. let's try to get another bonus. I really like the inside knowledge. Good, which means since there is nothing else we can do at the moment, how about we try to heal faster? Setting course for yeah, I think that's the right uh, call. We need to get our soldiers back in shape.
Stun Lancer Autopsy should help us with weapon upgrades, if I remember correctly. And I would probably need to get the Long War... Uh, the Long War... Um, research tree up. Yeah, we got the Arc Blades. That's important. That's also important. Mutamorphosy in an instant. Central officer, the aliens make a strong statement by fielding these massive creatures as their frontline. Got ourselves a viper blade. I, doubt they thought I like tactical vests, but let's be cl uh, clear: the hazmat vests, due to their environmental protection, are just better. Uh, we probably need to go for plasma grenades because uh, they are such a massive upgrade. So a few really strong. Uh, utility breakthroughs here. Mine shields would be helpful. There we go. Don't even need to say how important mine shields are in the end game. So we're definitely going to produce a couple of them specifically for the frontline units. We could now go into psionics. Yeah. Um, it's yes could go into Alarium, which we're probably going to do I like the robotics that could give uh, that could give us um, that could give us uh, sparks I think we're going down that route because uh, I haven't built a spark yet and for whatever reason, but the Long War guys definitely wanted robotics to be great, so they buffed it quite a bit. And maybe, by thinking about it, it's uh, the solution to our um, to our problem of not having enough recruits. Oh shit, we got a recruit. Well, there we go. So, if I'm taking a look at the classes, what do we need? Uh, assaults, we definitely could need another assault. Um, yeah, we're short one gunner. We have enough rangers. Oh, sharpshooters, we definitely... What's, what's the aim of uh, this guy? Mm, yeah, subpar aim. Hmm. Okay. Not the best sharpshooter then. We got plenty shinobis, we got plenty specialists. So it could either be a technician or a gunner. Or another grenadier. You know what? Since we just uh, researched plasma grenades, Let's make it a further grenadier. We were lacking cover removal and having an additional one is never bad. So people are recovering from their wounds and that is where our next mission is going to um, come into play. Next up, where we have essentially put a few of our uh, prime soldiers, uh, Fury, Roby, Taxman, onto uh, this mission here to gather some more intel. Maybe based on that intel we will have enough to um, branch out to South America. That would be nice. Let's take a general look at our armory. Yeah, we got shaken, wounded, gravely wounded. Mm. Still takes a few days. Got a lot of training that's going on, but we got quite a few that are also um, ready to, uh, to be deployed. 
Yeah, which means our roster generally is healthy. If you so if you look at it by status, yeah, the majority of it, all of our soldiers can can be deployed. A couple of lightly wounded ones. These here are on a mission. Haven advisor. And yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to be fine, guys. Anyways, whew, that was a long mission. Thank you so much for watching. I enjoyed it, as always. And we're going to see us in the next mission. Bye-bye.